Happy Sunday evening, and guess what? It is Labor Day weekend, so we are getting crafty. Guys, I am so, like, super, super, super in a fall mood. I am so excited for fall that I cannot stand it. So as you guys tune in, share with me where you're visiting from. Let me know what you have got on your agenda this amazing Sunday evening. I hope you all had a fantastic um, Sunday as well as a Saturday. I am excited to be getting crafty with you guys tonight as well. Hey, Alicia. Hey, Melissa. Um, Alicia, I hope you're not driving again. <laughs> um, I hope you're able to maybe be getting crafty with us. Tonight, we are doing another sneak peek to our next collection, um, which is the fall collection, which is gonna be coming out very, very soon. We've got a few more tweaks, a few more edits that I cannot wait to make with you guys for this collection, but we will be able to release it very soon for our members. Ooh, tonight is gonna be good. We've got uh, Alicia crafting. Leave some comments if you're crafting. Hey, Janice. Hey, M Michelle. Hey, Nikki. Oh, learning how to split monograms. Yay. Hey, D. Sylvia. Hey, from Oklahoma, Boston. Hey, Tanner again. Donna from Vegas. Oh my gosh. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, tonight, if you have not been with us over this past week, if you've not been with us in a minute, um, we are running our Labor Day sale, which is 30% off for Makers Gonna Learn. Just wanna let you guys know, second link in the description, instant access to our membership site, get access to the Facebook group. Year members right now, huge savings. Um, you can get access to our e-courses and everything for free if you're a year member. So it's actually more like the, if you bought the courses alone, it's more like it's costs more to buy them alone than get that plus like 400 digital cut files. We have a lot of cut files. Um, so any one of you guys will find value in that. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Janet. Oh my gosh. Jennifer from um, British Columbia. Um, Super excited. So in tonight's live stream, if you are new here, let us know if you've never been part of a live stream so everyone can welcome you, not only me. But tonight I wanted to go over some introductions to using iron-on and particularly working with iron-on with t-shirts. So working with t-shirts, I have been making tonight, I spent like an hour or two making like six shirts for a friend and his family, um, just some random t-shirts. And I was sharing with him some tips that I use when I'm making t-shirts to make everything's lined up, you know, work through all of the things like that. So tonight I thought if you're brand new to Cricut, you're going to definitely want to go ahead and watch today's live to learn some really fun tips about working with iron on. So, oh, Leslie, thank you. It's worth the cash. Oh, Sylvia says do it. It's worth the money. And for our members, I see a lot of you. I am just scheduling out that we're going live in the membership group tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern. So mark that on your calendars. We're gonna be promoting it tomorrow in the Facebook group, but this is a little sneak preview for you guys so you can make sure that you're able to be watching. Now, if you love, love, love what we do here on the YouTube channel, the membership is a step above that you're able to connect, ask questions with the community in our group. Um, but at 9 p.m. tomorrow, it's gonna be an exclusive member-only Facebook Live. So be sure to come hang out with us. Hannah, what are you up to? The friend you have shopped with before, I will be there. <laughs> Uh, hello everyone. Yes. So welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Um, tonight. So last night I was sharing some sneak peeks to our new collection, which is going to be launching very soon. And I'm still working in the scrap bin guys. I am like pushing for the next month, probably using your scraps. I have not been watching and using my scraps too much. And I have way, way too many. And I'm sure you guys do too. So tonight we're gonna make a fall inspired t-shirt. We have got our Easy Press 2, we have got our Easy Press mat, we've got the Cricut Maker, but guess what? If you have an Explorer, you're gonna also be able to enjoy this project. Hey, from Texas, um, yeah. So no matter what you have, um, if you have a Silhouette Brother, Cricut Maker, Cricut Explorer, this membership is for you you're gonna be able to use all of these projects um, that we have at the membership site. So Linda, hi, hi Linda, welcome everyone. Welcome Linda as she is a first time viewer. And for you guys that never leave comments, we talked about this at the end of last, last night's live stream. 
tonight. Leave some comments. Let us know what you're up to. Like we love having a conversation here. Um, Hannah says still broken. Oh no, are we having an audio issue? <laughs> hey Linda, don't forget about the commercial license. Ah, oh, Melissa, thank you. So if you guys love to make money with your machine, you guys know it's a big investment when you're purchasing the machine. Iron-on is not easy. Oh, Hannah's machine's still broken, oh no. Um, but if you are a Makers Gonna Learn member, you're going to get a free commercial license, no matter if you're a monthly, a six month member, a yearly member, you're going to get a free commercial license, which we love that. So, um, you know, when you're buying files on Etsy, someone left a comment saying, I've been buying so many files on Etsy, it was a no brainer to join the membership. So click the second link below to join the membership at 30% off. <gasps> I'm going to buy a Cricut Maker next week, yay! You're going to love it. Like seriously, love it. <laughs> um, so yes, you're going to definitely want the free commercial license and that allows you to be able to make money using your die cutting machine with our files and market it and sell it. It's awesome. Thank you. I just bought onesies today for a friend having a baby. Hope you can help me. Yes, we do have some baby files, um, in the life celebration collection. I believe there's quite a few just sporadic. Hey, from New Mexico, what's the commercial license? So hi D, um, if you want to use our membership and make money, um, we give you the license, just say, hey, if you're a member, you can use these files to make money with. It's pretty easy. Um, so we're not going to like come after you if we start seeing that you're selling these on Etsy or you're, we find out you're selling them um, locally or anything like that. It is super safe and our designers are happy about it. So anyway, guys, that's Makers Gonna Learn. If you want to join, we highly, highly recommend um, the year membership because not only a year worth of files plus access to our catalog, you're getting, um, is the license unlimited? All of our files, guys. We have 400 plus. Look around the YouTube channel. We have a video for almost every collection. You're getting a huge value. Um, so year members are getting access from today, which is access to all of our past collections. And then you're going to get access to our membership for a year plus access to our build a business through die cutting, um, build a business or build how to use your Cricut maker, um, and design space. So all kinds of that, all kinds of stuff. I was just going through all my files tonight, had to transfer them to my new laptop. Yay. Blessings to all of you from Georgia. Yes. Okay. So let's get crafting. Uh, as you guys have waited around and heard me spill, let me flip this around. So here is what we've got going on tonight. I'm working with a gray, working with a gray t-shirt and I need to fix this. Doo, doo, doo. I'm starting with my do do do's again. Um, we've got our Cricut maker here. We've got our t-shirt and the design we're working with is so much fun. So D says the year membership, is it a one-time fee or monthly? It is a one-time fee that you pay annually. So for paying annually, you're going to be able to get in at 30% off today. Um, but click the second link below and you're gonna find out all of the information. So there's a sale on the monthly, six month and yearly, but I do wanna let you guys know, every yearly member like loves the value that we have for that. So highly, highly recommend that because um, you're locked in already for a year and it's really affordable when you think about all of the courses you're getting. Hello. Oh Lord, the baby shark gets in your head. <laughs> okay. So this is our t-shirt we're working with tonight. First, we're gonna go through and cut out our two um, bonnet. Tanner, I'm new, so I guess I have to do the membership because I want to learn how to do all those projects. Join the membership, get access to our Facebook group to ask questions, email me. You are going to love it. This is this sale right here is what we do for Black Friday. So it's the best sale that we have all year round. Um, so anyone that's new to the channel, this is one of your best values. So let's talk about what we're making tonight. Am I right? Like, let's get to making. I'm excited. But if you guys have questions, please let me know so that we can get those answered. Um, so let me just show, share with you all my laptop. As you can see, I'm reading comments. Um, but here is what we're using tonight. This is one of our new files that are going to be coming out in the next week or so. Um, we've got, like I said, a few edits for this collection. And this is going to be a perfect shirt for the kids, guys, because this is the dab. And the dab is something that's super trending right now. Um, and these are actually two separate files. So if you notice, um, you know, we brought these together. Melissa says, do you purchase the pre-wash shirts? 
yes, pre-wash is the best way to go. Um, I've used both and I've never had issues, but I know a lot of people that have. So you're gonna wanna be careful with that. Um, hey Kelly, so cute, can't wait to see this. Yes, this collection is amazing. It's a new designer we're working with. She's so creative and I love her hand lettering. So, but she designed this little dab in one. What is the best vinyl for canvas? Yolanda, I love iron-on, so that's my favorite. Um, but this is what we're making tonight. So we're going to size it and figure out what we want to do. So we know we're going to want this to be beside each other, right? Um, this is kind of what we're working with. So we need to figure out how wide we want it. And a tip, so if you're a beginner for using iron-on, I always pick my width and let the height be whatever you know, whatever it's supposed to be. So I always just determine the width and let the height just be whatever it ends up being in Cricut. So let me share with you guys my shirt and I'll show you my $1.47 hack that I love. So I'm going to pull my comments back up right here. Make sure you can see this, yay. So here's the shirt and here's my ruler. This is a Westcott ruler. They sell these at Walmart. It's my saving grace when it comes to determining sizing or anything like that. I love this. So first of all, you always want to position your um, design about three inches from the, the neckline, just a fun fact. And then you're going to want to make it for, this is a medium size unisex shirt. I would say anything less than 10 inches is probably gonna be your best bet. So I'm thinking around nine inches, if you center this, this could be good. Honestly, 10 wouldn't be the worst, depending on who's actually wearing it. Move the skeleton feet on the H of the Halloween on top. Ooh, we'll have to look at that. Um, but yeah, so I like to do this like 10 inches would be the, probably the max. I don't know about you guys making t-shirts, but I think this looks pretty, pretty good. Um, so we're gonna know that when we're in design space, let's, let's reposition. Sorry about the, the repositioning. I just wanna work through all of this. D said, went to check out the year membership. It's showing after clicking it for six months. D, I'm so sorry, I'm not sure why, but if you click the blue best offer, that is going to get you your best, um, that's gonna get you your year. I'm so sorry if there's a technical glitch. So be sure to press um, the blue best offer and we will get you that. So Nikki says, Tanner, for a child shirt, would two inches from the neckline be a good rule? So I was just making some t-shirts for some kids. If it's a youth shirt, it depends on, when you say kids, you could do anything from a youth shirt to like a toddler shirt. I would just be sure to check it and make sure. Um, you know, just use your best like a, like personal thing. I could make some kid shirts. So on a medium shirt, I usually do nine inches wide. Yeah, I think, you know, using um, anything larger than nine inches would be a little much. Let me zoom in here. So I think nine inches is gonna be good, especially for a medium, so I like that. So we're gonna do nine inches wide and do, do, do. So you can see it's about nine inches wide and then it automatically creates our length at four inches. So that's how I design, decide t-shirts. Um, D, if you have any questions, let me know. I can make sure we get you that year. I'm so sorry. But yeah, so here you go. And this is our design. It's good to go. Now tonight we're doing a multi-layer. Um, we're using two colors. If you're a beginner, do not feel like you're limited to only using one color. It is very easy. We're gonna walk you through exactly how to use two colors and make it really easy. Oh, Hannah, we're gonna move the skeleton. Where did you say it? Let me scroll up real quick. Um, okay, move the skeleton feet on top of the H of the Halloween. Okay. Move the, the feet. Oh, this would be, oh, like make it smaller. You're saying like one to two inches. Okay, this would be like something like this. Is this what you want us to look at? Let me read the comments again. <laughs> Move the skeleton feet on top of the H of the Halloween. <gasps> this would be adorable. Is that what you're talking about? This is pretty adorable. Look at that. <laughs> is that what you want me to look at? Let me know. No, on top of the H. What do you mean? Lower. Oh, on top of this H, there's two H's. So you wanted it to be like on top? <laughs> I have no idea. 
Okay, anyway, yes. Oh. What do you mean? You're gonna have to send me a picture of this. I need to send you this file so you can tell me what you're, you were thinking about. Um, but anywho, up. <laughs> Tina says, Tanner, what's an ebook? So, an ebook is like um, pretty much a digital, it's just like a regular book, but it would just be more written tutorials and less videos. Yes. So we're going to do it larger tonight so we can have a great visual of the project. And I actually want to talk about aligning two of these up. D, it's $191.88. No, so that's not the 30% off price. So let me drop and make sure you're clicking this link right here. So let me share with you guys. For the 30% off special, this is the link we should be going to. Okay, one brief second. So you should click right, oh, we do not have a blue. Um, doo -doo -doo. Here is the special sign up and do do do. I'm putting the correct link. Don't know where that one came from. In here. So if anyone's watching, I've had a terrible, terrible time at making sure these links were the proper one. Don't ask me why. So for anyone having issues, it is now corrected. So, so sorry. All right. So we can go back over here and get crafty. This is the back end of my YouTube channel, y'all. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> um, up to $3 in the doo 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 jar. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Okay. So I like to leave this just going so I can see everything. But yes, so you can now click right here and have the proper link. And when you click this link, for anyone that would like to join and get access to all of our gloriness, you can click this button right here and it's going to send you straight to our best offer at 30% off. Now, if you're watching over, excuse me, do not press this button. Click here. This is the proper one. Here we go. This is the proper one. Here you go. So it should be 131 if you are joining through this. Melissa says, so for those of us who joined when you first launched, will it renew in October or November? It will renew on the exact date you joined. So whichever date that is, that is when it renews. So click the 1099 so you can get that. But anywho, guys, back to crafting. <laughs> Glad we were able to do some live technical support. I've got some things to correct. Anyway, guys, so we have this and we are about at nine inches. Dude, oh Lord. Okay, so anyway, guys, we are back to Happy Halloween and we can click make it. And so we'll automatically turn our projects in on two mats because we're working with two colors. So let's just go ahead and mirror these. And like I said, we're working with scraps because we need all of the scraps possible um, for our projects. Like we got to use them up. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, and we can just look at the sizing. So this one needs to go down. Actually, you know what, we can cut these after. So we'll go ahead and cut our black first. And I'm using my light grip mat. You guys know I love, love the light grip, but I was using the standard grip for yellow iron on today. Um, for some reason it just wasn't sticky and this is like a pretty sticky, sticky mat. So I'm not really sure why. We'll go ahead and trim this down. Just save us some time, but we could use our true, our true control knife, which I absolutely love. And we're just gonna load this in and we're gonna select iron on. You don't like, oh my gosh, where is the true control knife? Oh, it's right here. I love, I love this right here, guys. This is such a high quality, high quality Cricut knife and you know, Cricut really does spend a lot of time making sure we have like the best products. So I'm really impressed with how well they they do instead of just like not the machines, but like all of the accessories. So I love it. 
it works really well, especially with my vinyls and everything. But I also love, I love my good paper trimmer. Like it's, it's great. So I'm selecting iron-on as my material, and everyone always asks questions, Tanner, where do I turn fast mode on? You're gonna always wanna turn fast mode on at step three. So after you've loaded your mat, before you press the flashing cricket button, turn fast mode on, it's super easy. Um, I would show you the screen, but I've already got it, already got it set up. So anyway, um, I just bought the knife, ruler, and mat. Yay, shiny side down, yes. Awesome. Okay, D, let me know and you can email me. Yes, always make sure you put it shiny side down. You're going to always be set that way um, and whatnot. So be sure to shiny side down. And then once you're ready to go, press the flashing Cricut button. And make sure you're on the Cricut Design Space page instead of reading YouTube comments when you're coming. So a big question I got, was the Cricut Maker louder than the Explorer? No, it is not louder than the Explorer, but when you have fast mode on, it is a little bit louder. So if you notice through my live streams, it's louder or anything like that, that is why. So it's just cutting our little skeleton. And guys, this orange iron-on, I'm loving it. Like for Halloween, this is gonna be such a great one. Yes, Sylvia, always mirror your image. Always mirror. Always have mirror on when, when you're working with iron on. So why do you put it shiny side down? That is a fantastic question. So when you're working with iron on, this is only applicable when you're working with iron on. We're cutting on the back and this has, um, this has built-in transfer paper. So you always put shiny side down because this part is gonna be your transfer paper and this is the actual vinyl. So since we're going to flip it to put it on our shirt, you definitely need this. So um, this is what we're gonna weed and we're gonna be able to weed it. And you'll be able to see here in a few minutes why exactly um, you have to put it down shiny side. So, okay, dope. We're 64% complete. This is a very intricate one. So imagine how long it's gonna take me to weed this, um, but it's gonna be totally worth it. Um, I love this one. This is one that I would recommend if you are a beginner to cut out larger. Um, so it's definitely good. But tonight we're doing a little challenging. It's okay. I have no idea what, what song you all are talking about is getting stuck in your head. <laughs> I'm like very, I'm very lost. I feel like the maker is louder. Um, it, I, maybe it is louder, but I use the Explorer. I think it's a different type, if that makes sense. Like it's a little baby shark. Okay, somebody send me a link to this video at some point. <laughs> Um, Facebook message it to me or something so I can watch it. So next up, now remind you guys, I'm going to take this off the map and I'm going to put our next one down. So when you're working with iron on, the, there's two sides. We, we put down the shiny side down. And here in a second, while that cuts, I'll explain visually why. And these are things that every cricketer needs to know so that you get the right project done first. But let me tell you, if you are new to Cricut, or heck, I still make mistakes and I've been using it for years, um, um, you're gonna definitely sometimes just get in your rhythm and forget, and you just have to own up to it and call it a day. So that fast mode's still on. We're gonna press the flashing Cricut button. And now we're gonna weed, weed this out. So as you see here, it's a very intricate image. This is my favorite tool to work with. So you can just look at it real quick. Oh, I'm missing comments. We were talking about the baby shark song. I'm going to attempt to cut the monogram pineapple to not. I've never done more than one color. Oh, that'll be so fun. D, you should have the discount. If you need help, send me an email and I'll make sure we get you exactly what you need. Do, do, do. I'm just gonna start saying do to do while I, while I weed my vinyl. And D, if you refresh your page, there's the proper, here comes the scary weeding. You guys know, you guys know. 
Oh, look at how easy it is to weed this. <sighs> look at this. Now this is some scary weeding. I'm scared I'm pulling up things I need. But it's okay. Look at how, oh no, oh no. We have one little piece that didn't stay down on the hand. Stay down. No, stay down. It's so tiny. This is legit, guys. I'm having a little trouble. It is so tiny. It is so tiny. Yeah, I can't crazy weed on this project. It's, it's for sure just not happening. Okay. No, it's, well, not. Come on, Cricket. You should cut this better. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Wow, that cut extremely fast. I love my fast web. So see two things that needs to be fixed. There's this little one. There's this little guy. Now this is when you pull out the tweezers. So you guys hear me talk about all kinds of things. Oh, you really never, you know, use multiple tools. This is when you have a little weeding, a little crazy weeding. You just gotta make sure you put that down properly. Oh, look at this. Yes fixed it. Let me get you guys a better angle about what we're, what our issue is. Hey, Jessica. Slow down, Tanner. What you making? We are working on t-shirts, so that's super fun. And I think I'm gonna use my other pair of tweezers too. Let's see what this pair does. So we're just going to straighten this out. We're working with such a tiny little skeleton tonight, Jessica. Like, seriously, it's so tiny. And if there's anyone new in the house, please, Introduce yourself. Let us know what you've got going on tonight. Are you crafting? We've had some people say it's a Netflix day, which, hey, I'm all about it. next Netflix day. So if you're taking time out to watch some craft videos, we're all for it. Um, so, okay. Now we're just going to line this up. Just got to fix this one piece, and then we're going to take it real slow. And sometimes this is what it takes. Like normally this is something you would see edited out of the video. Let's get real. But sometimes you gotta know that we, anyone that makes videos are still, I crafted a snowflake banner with my cricket today. Yay, binge watching movies. I'm from Boston. Hi, Allison. First time watching live. Yay. Nikki, do not be fair, scared of fast mode. Welcome Allison. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the cricket fam. We are so happy you found us. We craft here live quite often, so I hope you enjoy. Um, and if you do not enjoy live videos, no worries. We have a ton of other videos, but if you're watching and commenting, that's a pretty good sign. And I promise my weeding is normally a lot quicker, but tonight we are just having to be grateful that we are not ruining the project because I'm not letting that happen. So with this, this is the, one of the scary parts about weeding this and you know, correcting mistakes is making sure you put the vinyl down on the right side. So be sure it's on the, the same side and not the shiny side. Okay, so now we're just gonna weed this real slow. So I'm gonna get my true control knife and just cut some of this off. First time watching to see you live working on some magical creation. Bethany, welcome, welcome, welcome. Jackie, first time, yay, welcome. So guys, tonight we are using files from Makers Gonna Learn, and this is a little sneak peek to one of our new files coming out very soon. So if you are a die cutting enthusiast like us, you are gonna love these files. A lot of our members are here. So if you are a member, why don't, since I am taking quite a bit of time, I mostly do t-shirts with HTV and used vinyl for the first time yesterday to make signs. Yay! Rocking it. Um, so if you are a member, leave some comments about what your favorite thing about the membership is, like what projects or files you seem to use the most. I love seeing your projects, so um, let me know and I'll read some comments about them. After I'm weeding, it's kind of hard to weed and look at comments, so maybe a second. But yeah, if you have any questions about weeding, let me know. I have a whole video about tips for weeding for beginners. Um, tonight, we're not using all of the tips because let's get real. 
Um, I'm just trying to save my project and not become a crap fill. Um, so we're just going to weed when I'm the best tip for working with intricate projects like this one. <gasps> Lori, my first time watching your live also, yay. Well, welcome to the channel guys. We have been growing at an amazing pace at a very healthy pace. So I just want to say thank you all. Um, it's very, I feel very, it's very intentional that you all are here. We, you know, we try to make amazing videos for people that have just got a cricket or have been using their cricket for years. You know, we really want to help inspire creativity and that's what Maker's Gonna Learn is all about um, to help you guys stay creative with your craft files and your Cricut and just to hang out. So with the membership, you're getting a ton of stuff and we're only working on expanding it. Um, so stay tuned. Okay, no, these little bitty dots, guys, these are so tiny. I hope you can see how tiny these are. Oh my goodness. Oh, another one came up. Okay, so we're gonna pull this one out. Just plop it back down. Right here. Yay. And then we're gonna pull the other one out. Where did it go? This is probably the quietest I've been. T-shirts and canvas items, hoping to make my son-in-law a growler yeti. Yay! I love all Tanner. Very appreciative of the commercial license you have given us. Yes, so if you love digital cut files, if you want to make money with your die cutting machine, our membership gives you a free commercial license, which people really love. Like, it's such a great value. And traditionally, if you're using craft files from, like, Etsy, it does not come with. Like, they expect you to pay an additional fee. And I do not like doing that. But I also, if I'm like, if you're like any, if you're like me, I don't like being a rule breaker. So we just wanted to make sure that we gave you a free commercial license so no one felt like they were taking advantage or anything like that. So guys, whew, I'm sweating this project. I have to turn my air conditioner off because it makes noises during live streams. And when you get nervous about weeding a project, wow. So my, imagine all the little pieces I had to reposition here, guys. It's, this is a great beginner project. Um, I'd just recommend cutting the skeleton a little larger. Okay, so the feet, oh, these little toes, these little toes. Oh no, little toes. Just go pray these stay down. Here we go, one, two, oh no, stay. Oh my gosh. Tanner needs mediators. Hi, Karen. Troll alert, Tanner. Oh, wow, Karen. That is not appropriate. <laughs> We've got to ban you. So sorry. Um, anywho, <laughs> um, I like how you're fixing it. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, I just added Melissa as moderator, Alicia, Alicia, um, anybody that's been a, a long time viewer, sure, you all can be moderators. Just added two, two people to moderate. So if y'all ever catch anything, go through. If anyone's ever interested in being a moderator, let me know. Um, okay, okay. I just clicked on your names, made you moderator. Block him, he is, he's gone. He, she, whoever, um, did not catch all the comments. So I apologize. This is a fun, creative community. We don't have time for negative people, rude people. So anyway, we're just making sure, and this is the thing, if you're working with little pieces, I honestly do not know how to make them stick. What I could do is when I, I didn't make it cut like extra pressure. This is a good project to cut extra pressure. So it cuts a lot. Like you see here, it's stuck by the little, just a little piece. It can be very frustrating. Okay. 
Okay. Cool. Perfect. You can moderate too. <laughs> Yay. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Yay. Okay, I need to flip this over. And we are almost, guys, this is the hardest project to weed because I cut it so tiny. But it's okay. It's, it's going to be worth it because this is a skeleton that dabs. It's a dabbing skeleton. Like, how much better does it get? Okay. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Yay. Hi, Tanner from Canada. I watch you all the time, but I haven't got my machine yet, but I'm learning soon. I get it. I'm going to sign up with you. Yay. You are going to love it. Would intricate cuts be done better on the regular cut setting instead of fast setting? I don't think it matters. Um, I think what I, in the case of this, I wish I put it on more pressure so it would just cut through better. Um, oh my gosh, we've got four more little, little tiny, tiny, um, little tiny, tiny feet left. Great question. If there's anything, any questions, please let us know. If you have questions about signing up, you can learn and get 30% off at the second link below. If you still need to sign up for a virtual summit and like to save $50 on registration and you're not a Makers Gonna Learn member, you can click the first link below. We've seen quite a few people join and we wanna make sure that you are going to enjoy the summit. I'm going to make sure I weed through this before we talk about any of the other fun offerings we have because I need to focus. Maybe he's an amputee. <gasps> Yay, Betsy signed up. Larger image, more pressure, regular mode. Yes. D, you sent a message through the blog. Perfect. We will get you everything you need. I'm so sorry, dear. Okay. We've got four more little feet. I'm about to start doing some Christmas crafts and I can't decide which holiday file I want to use because they're all so beautiful. Love the files on Maker's Gonna Learn. Yay. We love that. And honestly, this holiday collection, this year's holiday collection is going to be hard to beat because, oh, wait, this little one stayed down. Oh, is this one? Okay, look, look at this. Look at this. Oh, thank you, Leslie. Yeah, I definitely think um, either one. I feel so terrible for, you know, if, whichever level you signed up. I think you're getting a deal either way. And that's why I don't like to run sales. Um, so that's honestly, it was a hard decision to go through with it. Um, but thank you. I really appreciate that. That's why we don't run sales often. So guys, if you want in, this will be like one of our last sales of the year. Doo -doo -doo. Look at this. Me and these tweezers, man. If you've noticed, I'm not a tweezer pro. I do not feel like. Where did it go? I really need this since I have a huge project coming up with my brother's semi truck. <gasps> cool. Okay, so I'm grabbing this little bitty dot. And you want to make sure, even though with these tiny pieces, you want to make sure that you are on the shiny side down. Or the shiny side up. Oh my goodness, I got my money back many times over with the amount of SVGs. Yay! All right, guys, we are almost done. I just have to make sure this is on the right side. And it's not. <laughs> So how you know if it's on the right side, you want to make sure you see the shiny one. I use Oracal vinyl, but this premium vinyl is calling my name. It's always difficult for me to see which side is shiny. Yeah, if it's matte, that means it's the wrong side. And this little bitty dot. God bless my contacts. Does anyone else agree? Like, my contact? Yay! Okay, so now we just need to position this one a little better. What a fun project, guys. When was the last time we had to weed something so intricate? Honestly, if I knew it was difficult, I would give you some tips and then weed it before the camera was on. But tonight is not like that. <gasps> Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, now we just need to weed out this right here. Welcome, everyone. If you are watching, I just want to say thank you so, so much. Um, this is probably one of the hardest files I have weeded all year, and it's only because it's so tiny. So this is definitely something for us to bond over. 
And everybody's gonna make a project like this. So this is some tips that you're like, oh yeah, I watched Tanner do this. It was, it seemed easy enough. I can be able to rock it. But this is not hard at all um, to do. It was fun. I loved it. Melissa says, the files are amazing. If you have, or are thinking about getting the maker, you need to take advantage of the class Tanner has available for those who get the yearly membership. Yes, so used to, um, Last year, you know, this those classes were something you had to pay additional for. And then we wanted to make sure that people that are brand new, you have two spots on the pelvis. Oh, thank you. I love that you guys are helping me with this. Yay. Oops, I hit the camera. Okay, two little spots. One, done. And then look at this. Sometimes it sticks. This is perfect for your tweezers. So if I'm trying to sell anything to not, the membership in these tweezers, look at that. Get that, put it in your little box. Donna, please send us an email and we will gladly assist you. Um, we're not looking at emails too much this weekend, but Tuesday we will get you an answer. Okay. Yes, I loved it. If I was not with you guys, I would not be patient enough. Tanner, those two places love to weed on the hips. Yes, okay, we've got it. Look at this. Look at such an intricate project. Like this is my finger. The cricket is amazing. Like, can we just give the thumbs up? Everyone give thumbs up for the cricket and oh, such a high quality cut file. Like, check this out. Okay, now let's share with you guys how it really is normally to weed with the cricket. So what I like to do, instead of honestly doing a weeding box, I, this is my weeding box. I DIY it. I make my own weeding box. Anyway, this is how it normally is to weed a Maker's Gonna Learn file. <gasps> Thanks guys. Look at this. So we are just go weed normally. Hey, Linda. Look at this. This is how it's supposed to be. Tanner's crazy weeding is taking place. Yay. I need to make up all the time. Was that done on the Maker or the Air 2? Sharon, that was done on the Maker, but let me tell you, the E2 gives just as great cuts, especially with iron-on. Like, and the thing is, if you are looking at getting a cutting machine and, you know, the maker would be a little expensive or, you know, you're just not sure, you can start with a uh, Explore 2. Like, that's not a problem, you know, guys? I love my Explore 2. I would use it for anything, like, um, that I could cut with it. Like, there's nothing wrong with an E2. But, yeah, I love, I love both machines. I have been using my Martha Stewart machine uh, with Michaels, and it's just made me love the... Explore lineup even more. So what we're doing tonight, if you were just tuning in, if you were brand new, we are using a sneak peek file to our Halloween or fall collection at Makers Gonna Learn. And this weekend we have 30% off. Hi Diane. And this is one of our best sales of the year. So that's exciting. And if you wanna take advantage of it, be sure to click the second link below so that you get instant, yes I said instant, access to all of the fun cut files. Look at how easy this is to weed. Is this not like night and day? Okay. I have the air, love, can't afford the maker, maybe one day. Yeah, and honestly, like for a lot of us, like it's okay if you're not making, you know, quilts or anything like that. Um, Tanner, I was telling a cricket newbie about you and Michaels. <gasps> I love meeting cricket newbies and Michaels. I meet them very often and I'm like, here, Come watch my videos. I will help you. And I'm just trying to tell them all the the, the hacks about getting really affordable stuff at Cricut.com and getting really affordable stuff at Michael's. I love the new Cricut vinyl. Yes, I need to try it. I haven't got to try it enough. Good catch y'all. Beat me to it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just weeding this out. Super easy, look at this. This is what it's supposed to be, super fun. So this video is for beginners. So if you all have any questions um, about weeding or anything like that, about iron-on, you know, you love our Cricut iron-on. That's the only iron-on I honestly use. So there's other iron-ons I'm sure that work just as great. Bethany, Auntie Tay speaks highly about you. What is the difference between her Patreon group and yours? So mine is not a Patreon group. I guess that would be the first difference. Um, mine is a membership. It is um, 
you know, a, quite a bit different. I honestly do not know what all of her Patreons get. Um, you know, she gives cut files. I do have to say our cut files, I'm not sure like what her cut files are, but ours are exclusive. You're not gonna find these anywhere else. Um, these are designed by our designers that we work with. Um, you get a free commercial license with our membership. So it's a huge deal. And we have e-courses. So if you're a year member at Makers Gonna Learn, you get access to our e-courses, um, which are a huge value. Um, and you get access to our Facebook group. It's a probably just a whole different vibe because we're a little different people, but I love Auntie Tay. She's one of the sweetest, like coolest people um, to collaborate with and work with or just talk to, honestly. Do you have a good video about teaching the newbies on how to break down the layers in design space? How long does the sale last? So the sale um, lasts until tomorrow at midnight Eastern. Donna, um, don't see it, Donna. What's, oh, did Donna ask her question? Yes, can't wait for the e-courses. Yay, yes, so that's a big part of it is you get the e-courses, you get the cut files. Like we have a huge library. What is different about ours than other Patreons, some Patreons um, don't have exclusive cut files, so they partner with different people. Ours are 100% exclusive, hand-lettered, and we have a, we're growing a lot in print and cut. So print and cut files are gonna be huge for us if you have not already noticed with our membership. If you all love print and cut and wanna learn more about it, that is going to be huge. Tanner, we need more crafters like you here in Canada, but thank goodness for YouTube, right? God bless YouTube. I'm so grateful, thankful for being able to connect with you guys all from the comfort of our homes, am I right? Okay guys, we are ready for easy press time, which is probably one of my favorite times. Now tonight we are using just a regular a Gildan shirt. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is a medium. Scroll back to the beginning, not there, Donna, not there. Donna, what's your question? We don't see it. Yeah, we don't see it, Donna. Let us know if you wanna share. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, here is the shirt. We already talked about sizing, but if you just joined us, we always position our shirt about three inches down from the neckline. If you're using a kid's shirt, maybe one and a half, maybe two, depending on if it's a toddler shirt or anything like that. Um, first of all, we're going to want to set our design up together on how we're actually going to position it. Now this is going to help us decide what it's going to actually look like. So I know I'm going to want mine to look pretty much like this. And then we're going to peel this up. Next, what we're going to do is turn our easy press on and set it for 305 at 30 seconds. So I just turned it on. Let me show you 305 at 30 seconds. It's going to start preheating. Nikki says, love print and cut. Just did a beautiful lifelike rabbit for a holiday tag. Love it. Kathy, was it with me? Do you have a good video? Oh, yes. So we do have videos breaking down layers. There's definitely a video about breaking down layers in our e-course. Um, but you could look around the channel for some more videos about design space. But the e-course, being a yearly member going to give you access to that. So while that heats up, we're going to go ahead and start preparing our shirt. Now, one of the things when you're making your own t-shirt, I always worry about making sure it's lined up. Oh, Melissa says you, um, yeah. So anyway, is our phone good? Cool. What we're gonna do to figure out if this is in the center is we're gonna take the shirt and fold it in half. So I'm just gonna make sure this neck lines up and go like so. So we're folding it in half and what we're gonna do, I'm sure you've seen this in other videos potentially, um, we're just gonna hit it with the easy press just like so. And even though this is perfect to do while it's preheating. So what we're going to do, um, just like so, we're gonna hit this. So we've got that in the middle and now it's gonna give us a crease so we know exactly what's in the middle. So let's open this up and you can see this faint but there line. That's gonna help us. And then we're gonna take our design that we already positioned, not sticky, we're gonna line this up in the middle to kinda stretch our design out and crease it right up at the top. So creasing it at the top is gonna allow us to see you know, where it goes in the middle and then find three inches down. 
So we can move this design up just a tad bit. And this is perfectly lined up for the shirt. So we're about three inches down and you know we are right there in the center. So you can look at it, double check it. I like to pick my shirt up and double, triple check it. So now what we're going to do is be able to peel this up and hit our first part and then be able to align it together. And listen at that. Did you just hear the Cricut was preheated? It makes a little noise. I really want the new Easy Press 2 in every size. <gasps> Me too. I'm working on that with Cricut because we, I need it. So anyway, here we are placing it 305 for 30 seconds. That's my favorite with working on cotton. There is a little different. We have another troll. Oh no. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys for seeing that. I, um, I don't know why tonight is such a troll night, but yeah. So as you guys are tuning in, if there's anyone new here, you know, we have quite a few people watching us. Um, Please let us know. My friend's daughter made her t-shirt with Caesar and all the letters are peeling off. Can I repress it for her? I would probably start fresh. Definitely, definitely um, want to peel it up and start fresh and sort of see why. There's multiple reasons why it could be coming up. Look at how great, this is such, oh. Now the Easy Press Mat does help you get a seamless, perfect design every single time. Like look at how amazing that was. So we're gonna lay this down. And remember guys, if your maker's gonna learn, remember this file will be in your hands to start crafting with very soon. If you are not a member, go sign up right now so that you're gonna be able to get this file. Um, let me make sure I did this right, yes. Um, so that you can get this file in the next week or two. But in the meantime, you're going to love all the files we already have. And we've been making fall projects all week. Donna, I'm so sorry. Yes, I would be very sad too. Totally understand her pain. So what we're going to do now that we have hit the second layer, and these are such tiny pieces, we're going to see how well it attached. And when it starts bubbling up, let me show you guys. So if you see, when I love, yes, be sure to sign up everyone. Take advantage of this fun sale. It hasn't happened in a while. That's when I know it's like, it properly if you don't see that you might want to double check it but look at it oh, such a seamless transfer look at this oh my gosh such a fun t-shirt oh my gosh look at this guys what a fun t-shirt I am obsessed you're going to love this it is so much fun and for some other projects if you are brand new if you haven't got to see any of our videos this past week we've made quite a few projects i've been in kind of a project making mood because it's fall um we made this live the other night so you can watch this and see to learn more about the membership is this project not adorable oh my gosh so stinging adorable thank you yeah so you can see this was made with the membership files this is from last year's holiday collection um and then this one right here So this one says pumpkin spice and everything nice. I'm doing the grateful, I'm doing the grateful, thankful, blessed on a shadow box tonight. <gasps> Yay! Yes, so this is pumpkin spice and everything nice. And this is th grateful, thankful, blessed. And then this is part of our, our new one. So <gasps> Hannah, send it to me. Which one, Hannah? Do you want all three? <laughs> um, yeah, so these are just some fun projects. I love it. You know, Maker's Gonna Learn helps me and being able to help you guys stay creative with working with our designers and being able to create fun projects like that. Like seriously, dream come true, guys. Like we rocked this t-shirt and if you have never worked with HTV Iron On, this is gonna be a perfect project for you to work on it and love it. We gave you some great tips for lining it up, making sure you're going to get it about three inches below the neck and everything like that. So anyway, guys, I am super happy that we were able to get crafty. I'm going to flip the camera. Do, do, do. Hello. Um, we have had so much fun crafting tonight. It is Sunday. 
let, leave comments and let me know what you're up to for Labor Day. Tracy, yay, super excited. We are so excited to see our new members in the Facebook group because guys, if you love the live streams we do here, tomorrow night we're having a membership, um, a members only live stream in the Facebook group. So get registered be able to join so that you're able to watch us live tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern um, in the membership group. And we're gonna be having a lot of fun crafting just like we were tonight, giving you guys some um, super fun tips. Hannah's working 12 hours, yippee, aw. Um, for yearly members, do you get three months free on top of that? Um, yes. So the for 1099, it kind of just like, it gives you the discount. So you're only paying $10.99 on a month versus like $15.99 or $19.99, depending on the options. Email me if you have any questions. Hi, Marsha. Uh, if you're just tuning in, this is the shirt we made tonight with a sneak peek file for Makers Gonna Learn. We love this. I have had so much fun hanging out with you guys. And be sure to get registered because the membership sale ends tomorrow night and we will not extend it. So, oh, Jessica, happy early birthday. Oh my gosh. I am hanging out um, at the lake a little bit. Where do I find the cheat sheet for lining up the shirt images? Um, Rewatch the video. I, I will have to make some um, cheat sheets. So great idea. I'll be putting my new craft room. Yay, super exciting. Okay, yay, can't wait for tomorrow. See you all then. It would be awesome on treat bags. Yes, this is gonna be awesome on treat bags. We'll be having another sale in the future. Potentially, honestly, the more that I do sales, the more I don't like it um, because I don't want to devalue it and have people at different levels. So if you do want to get signed up, this is a great time to get signed up at an amazing deal. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with us. We love it. Can't wait to hear from you to sign up. Yes, D, I will reply right after this, um, just especially for you. And if there's anyone else that's left emails, be sure to know that we're going to be getting back to you at the first of the week um, and everything like that. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. It has been a fun live stream. It was almost an hour, 57 minutes. I love that. But yeah, guys, thanks for hanging out. You all make my nights all the time. Yes, happy birthday, Jessica. Is it, Sharon says, is it PayPal only? No. So PayPal is what houses our software. Um, but if you have a e-check you're able to use it if you have a credit card you're able to use it so you just pay there's a little button that says instead of logging in pay with debit card you can use an e-check with your bank transfer they've got multiple ways for you so if you need any help with that be sure to reach out to us we have um, a contact form on our blog and the membership site so we will help you guys get set up sometimes um, I understand it can be difficult, so we don't want you to be frustrated. We're here to help. Give Tanner a thumbs up at the top of this page, YouTube tracking, woo, thanks guys. Well, if you all have anything else, be sure to leave comments. If you're watching the recorded, thanks for making it to the end. And if you're watching live, thanks for hanging out for the like 10th time I've said that. But again, super fun project. Go check out the other live stream we did to make this one. And if you wanna see this, head on over to the Michaels Facebook page, Look at the little short form video we made for them. They're such a great partner and leave a comment letting them know I sent you. So thanks for watching guys.